Ray Shostak fue jefe de la unidad de entrega del primer ministro de Gran Bretaña de gestión para resultados y miembro del Consejo del Tesoro de Su Majestad entre los años 2007 a 2011. Fue el funcionario responsable de desarrollar un marco nacional de desempeño, labor que cumplió en estrecha coordinación con el primer ministro a fin de concretar la implementación de prioridades relativas a servicios públicos del gabinete. El señor Shostak fue también desde el año 2003 director de Servicios Públicos del Tesoro de Su Majestad. En la actualidad trabaja a nivel internacional con una serie de gobiernos y entidades en el mejoramiento de la entrega de servicios públicos y temas de presupuesto basado en resultados. Y como ejecutivo principal de Core Assets Group, organismo independiente dedicado a los servicios infantiles. My presentation was essentially in uh, three parts. The first part uh, outlined a framework which began with outcomes for citizens and focusing on what public services really do for citizens. And then looked at the components of what, can, what would make a good national performance framework. That include setting government priorities, ensuring that budget was aligned to those government priorities, ensuring that there was real accountability with consequences, and very importantly, ensuring that the system had capacity and the skills to both monitor and intervene when things were a bit off track. The second element of my presentation really focused on uh, understanding the delivery system Really, again, looking at public services from a citizen's point of view, what are the major levers that actually support good, effective, and efficient public service delivery? And then finally, I focused on what it is government could do to support changing behaviors, ranging from ensuring that citizens had a voice and there was transparency, to a lot of the other levers that governments have in terms of monitoring, in terms of intervention, in terms of the use of impact, in terms of getting policy right first time so that public sector workers, teachers, doctors, nurses, police officers, social workers are really able to implement the ambition of governments in an effective and efficient way. The framework is being applied differentially in uh, countries across uh, the world. Some countries are very good at setting their ambitions and priorities, and by that I mean real priorities. If everything's a priority, nothing's a priority. Other countries are uh, better at actually linking the budget, not just in terms of resource allocation, but ensuring that they're using performance-based budgeting to ensure that they get good value uh, for money. Some countries, and I know that's a challenge for uh, many, are actually struggling in terms of ensuring they get the accountability systems right and the systems ensuring that they have mechanisms to both monitor and uh, understand what's actually happening, but most importantly intervene to ensure that public services are getting better week by week and month by month. And again, across the world, you'll find that those challenges are being met in different sorts of ways. There's no one size fits all, but what's important is those four components integrate in a way that actually serves citizens well. There's absolutely no doubt that we can all learn from each other. Uh, the Latin American and Caribbean web here the network that's being created is an important and quite fundamental device to ensure that we're sharing best practice and learning from uh, each other. That's equally true for the number of speakers that have come from outside of Latin America, myself, colleagues from South Africa and uh, uh, Korean other countries. We're equally able to learn 
from the practices here and the challenges here. The reality is that we all share the same challenge. That's higher expectations from our citizens to provide better public services at a reduced cost. And the more we can actually share what works in our own countries, the better able we're uh, going to be to face up to those challenges. I'm delighted to be able to come and share the experiences that I've gained both in the United Kingdom and working internationally with colleagues within the Latin American and Caribbean uh, network. I came because my experience of working in some of the Latin American countries just demonstrates to me that the passion that I have for getting public services better for citizens is absolutely shared by the many people that I've met across the countries. And monitoring and evaluation is a key part of that, and ensuring that the people in the systems, both within government and within the delivery systems, are all aligned against government ambition. I've seen that everywhere I've been in Latin America and wanted to come and work with the colleagues here to actually ensure that we're, again, learning from each other. I mean, this event has been very, very good uh, in terms of both its design and indeed the contributions uh, in raising an awareness of the issues that are actually faced by each of our individual uh, countries. I think the real challenge for us all is to ensure that we're taking that awareness and turning it into the development of real skills and new approaches within our individual our countries. So that's really about turning the dialogue and the conferencing that we've been able to do here into real training. And I think the new IEG uh, 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 learning centers will play an important part in that.